welcome back to Rob's Homemade and today, sorry John, we're on a Chris review um, I know John hates me when I do Chris reviews on the, my own, really annoys him but with all the time John had off and stuff like that, I've got stuff in the cupboard that's close to its sell by date, I've had it that long so I've got to get these done before the other date. So I'm really sorry, John. But there might be a few videos where you'll be a bit annoyed with me for doing them without you. But I apologise for that. But on the sofa with Johnny Boy, you are going to be one of the first. I've got two episodes planned already. Excuse me. John's got to be one of the first. I've got so many questions that people have asked for John. It's gonna be funny, it's gonna be entertaining. We'll have a few beers while I'm doing it, hopefully, if I can get him here. If not, and I have to do it in the workplace, the beers will be out of question, but we might have a couple of sauces in between or something, just for a laugh. But anyway, we're here for a Chris review. We have hers, jalapeno poppers. These were bought in a local uh, shop by me. He does stock a lot of American snacks and stuff like that. It is a bit expensive because of the import export tax and stuff like that, which with Brexit is probably gonna get even more expensive, but um, yes, these go out of date in a couple of days. So oven baked with real cheese, jalapeno poppers. So let's get the glasses. Do, do, do. We have they may bite back, bite into one of our delicious hers, jalapeno poppers flavoured cheese curls, and it might return the favour, because behind that big cheddar cheese flavour is a zesty little pinch of jalapeno that packs a little zing. Don't say we didn't warn you. Like all our hers snacks, jalapeno flavoured cheese curls are made from the choicest ingredients available and delivered fresh from our, for your snacking pleasure. I know you'll enjoy it as much as we enjoy making. In fact, I personally guarantee it. Ooh, that's a, that's a bold statement from the president and the CEO, Ed Herr, I think it is. These were made in Nottingham, America. Hers.com, find us on Facebook. Hers.com, facebook.com forward slash hers. There's the usual calorie counts, which are never good. So, ingredients, cornmeal, vegetable oil, one or more of the following, corn, cottonseed, palm, sunflower, cheese blend, cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese called to salt enzymes, natural flavoring, citric acid, lactic acid, yellow number five and yellow number six, our favorite numbers, salt and spices, onion powder, garlic powder, green bell pepper powder, modified tapioca starch, sodium, chipotle pepper, dried parsley, citric acid, sunflower, and modified custard. Natural and artificial flavours and salt. Also contains milk. So, I'm looking forward to these, I'll be perfectly honest. I've had these, like I said, a long time and I just never got round to doing them with John. So, we're going to Crack these bad boys. Cheesy, salty, and cheesy. Let's have a look. So, them quite a, a big one. Big like what's it that we get in uh, the UK. So, here goes. Right. Here's my first gripe. Right. I know that's a proper jalapeno popper, but it don't look like that on the inside. Just make it a curl. Really cheesy. Really, really cheesy. But I'm not getting any zing of the jalapeno. See the little green flecks, which I'm assuming is either the bell pepper or the jalapeno pepper, but 
It just tastes like a wattie. I'm not really getting much of a zing. I'm quite, um, tastes more like a vinegary taste. I know it's only jalapeno, so I weren't expecting too much of a kick. But I was at least expecting a little bit of heat, but they're nice. It's a cheesy watsy. They've got a good flavour, so I'm going to give them a seven for flavour. because they've got that strong, cheesy flavour. Even as I'm eating more and more, there's no jalapeno kick to them. It's just a little, not even a little zing. As they said, you'll get a little zing. I'm not even getting a little zing. Which is a bit of a shame. So John, you didn't really miss out much mate. Oh well. Was one ninety nine a bag. I don't think I'd probably buy them again. I could get a decent sized bag of wattage for about 75 pence. and get some candied jalapenos out of the cupboard. Sorry. Candied jalapenos out of the cupboard. I need them alongside them and I'd, I'd probably get more of a flavour. But them crunchy, them cheesy, and them tasty. The front cover is a bit deceiving, but that's what advertising is all about. Mm. Like I said, they are flavoursome, they are cheesy. And I suppose there is a little, probably not even, doesn't even register on my scale as to a heat rating. So I'm going to give them a heat rating of zero because <clears throat> there's nothing there really to a four year old could eat these and it wouldn't affect him in the slightest but flavour rating I'm going to give them a seven because they have nice tasty um, oven baked with real cheese and you can taste the cheese which is the best part about them so seven for flavour for hers jalapeno poppers naught on the heat scale but a tasty snack, but I wouldn't pay too quid again, unfortunately. But not that I'm tight or anything because I do buy these products and do pay a fair whack for them, but probably not again. So that was my review of hers, jalapeno poppers baked with real cheese. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you hit the notification bell, click all, and you will get every single notification from me, Rob, at Rob's Homemade. So once again, thank you very much, and peace!